Saturday's rally at Legislative Plaza was peaceful, but hours later we witnessed violence and destruction. But one photographer who captured these images of the riots throughout downtown says something seemed off about the protests. News Channel 5's Sina Sleem explains. It was supposed to be a peaceful rally sparked by the death of George Floyd, a black man who died after being put under arrest in Minneapolis by police. And it was a peaceful protest at Legislative Plaza, but things took a turn and by nightfall became violent and destructive. Yeah, I've covered a lot of things in my life and this, this just seems kind of fishy to me. Freelance photographer John Party Pillow has covered numerous protests, but he says this one feels a little off. Everything was really calm down there. The police were there, and then all of a sudden, you know, these guys started to come breaking windows. And, and they were they were not just breaking windows. I mean, they're throwing fencing in there. They're busting stuff out. They broke windows, lit stuff on fire, and threw it in there to make the uh, make the sprinkler systems go off. By the end of the night, protesters could be seen lighting the Metro Courthouse on fire and looting businesses on Broadway. But Party Pillow says the demonstrators he saw causing havoc didn't look like the same people at the peaceful rally. These guys were pros. They looked like they were pretty trained. These are the pictures Party Pillow snapped of the riots. He says it's unfortunate now the spotlight has shifted. I think that, uh, you know, the message is, you know, the brutality and and all this stuff that the you know African American uh, communities have all over the country have been going through for you know decades. Now it's like oh there's riots you know going on. It distracts. It's a very big, a big distraction from the from the truth. It's the same frustration and disappointment the organizers of the rally expressed when it comes to the violence they saw Saturday night. Sina Salim, News Channel Five. At least, excuse me, at least 29 people have been arrested so far and people continue to look for those involved Saturday.